Hey guys, this is Nicholas with John Anthony Lifestyle and I want to tell a story about a fear of women and how even when most guys would have left the situation, I, I stayed inside and let me just put on my sunglasses to look cool like this guy over here. Mm -hmm. And um, so a nice cloudy day. And a nice <laughs> it, it's a rockstar lifestyle, so you gotta play, play the role, right? Anyway, so most guys in my situation, in my story would have like left the set, as they say, I mean left the, the two girls I was trying to you know pick up and uh, just ejected because it was very uncomfortable they thought i was annoying but i just stayed inside i stayed in set as they say and that girl ended up Wait, so, okay so back okay back up well that was the high level summary right you wanted to leave the interaction or you felt feared to maybe leave the interaction and then you ended up what happened and uh, the girl ended up being my very serious girlfriend in an open relationship for like a year and a half so she was like monogamous to me and she let me fuck girls as much as i want yeah it's a perfect relationship yeah, so we just talked about in the last video, like when I told the story with the chick I saw at the drugstore uh, to pick up prescriptions, how I was this close to fucking pussying out, got her into my life for months. Here's a situation, and that was just to do the approach. Here's a situation where he was tempted to leave the interaction, but he stayed in. Okay, so do you want to go over through? Because I get, guys can really relate to this. So we we taught you how to get over that fear of approaching. You you acknowledge that the pebbles in your shoe. You just remind yourself this is antiquated circuitry, okay? And we're gonna go into in a follow-on video how you can feel comfortable in your own skin and not give a fuck based on how the girl reacts or anyone that hears or anyone that judges you in the environment. But in this particular situation, in this video, we want to talk about how you deal with that fear that creeps up. Okay, so now you've approached, you're in the interaction, and now here, go. Where do you think the source of this is coming from? Well, I know, but do you want to? Or do you want me to just talk to it? I don't know actually. Yeah. So okay. So, well, the, where this is coming from is. Because I've, I've been teaching this stuff for seven years now. And what I see time and time and time again, the common pattern is the client, or I, I don't even need to refer to it from a, a business standpoint. A man that's talking to a stranger is afraid that he's not good enough. He's afraid that the girl is judging him in a negative way. He's afraid that he's going to fuck up, right? And, and he's anticipating something bad coming and then what happens is that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and when he's doubting his own value that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and, and the girl's like well this guy's low value he doesn't even, if you don't believe in your own value the girl is never going to believe in it okay so and I, hold, on, hold on one second so um really good analogy that i always use is like a car salesman say he has this car right and it's a rusted piece of shit again we're talking about this translates over to your perception of yourself okay i'm not saying like the, the car is always gonna be rusted and you have to pretend it's like a lamborghini say it's like this old fucking piece of shit car the parts are broken it's rusted the windows are cracked and or maybe smashed someone comes in and he's like well i have this car here uh all, all here's the long list of problems with it obviously you can see it looks like shit do you want to buy it the people are going to be like uh next okay when you walk up to the woman and you're like uh uh, hello, like, uh, and then in the interaction, you're thinking like, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm a piece of shit, I'm a piece of shit. That translates into her seeing you not as the sparkling, shiny, brand new Lamborghini, but the dilapidated piece of shit car in the salesman analogy. And it's very tough to get a girl when you're presenting yourself in that manner. Okay, so most guys are really handicapping themselves, really shutting themselves down, and it all starts up here. That's like the key lesson here, and this ties back to the fear. Okay, what were you gonna say? So this actually makes perfect sense. I didn't analyze it enough myself. You kind of helped me see it more clear. And when I actually think about the, the situation, it was around two years ago, and I was a total fucking nerd. Like I, I shit you not. Like the way I, the guy I was two years ago is a completely different guy. And yeah, I, I was the, the reason guy in my high school out of 700 people. Exactly. And, and what happened was, even though I was a total nerd, like I, I dressed like shit. Like I was had <laughs> like I had problems like being very, very nervous around girls. Yeah. I was still you know starting to learn about being you know and now, now people see us now and they can never imagine that oh yeah and like people i'm a definition of cool now but before i i i, I was not <laughs> even close to being cool and i thought but the, the issue is and the, the, the great thing is that i thought i was cool and i kept being in the like in the set like i kept trying to like you know be with them have fun with them hang out with them even though like they, they kind of clearly told me that um so what happened was i i approached them and it was like ha ha he hello like uh, nice to meet you but like yeah we just you know we hadn't seen each other for like for months she just came back back from one her one friend just came back from new york to to prague in, in czech republic and um 
they wanted to spend this one day with each other. Like the, the one girl was dressed nicely, but the other one was just like just not ready to go out. She just just wanted to see her friend, nothing else. And they asked me like, yeah, like so like we don't really like you know want to meet new people right now. We just want to hang out with each other. I'm like, no, you guys are cool. I want to get to know you. So, and I I was under the belief that I was cool and that we should all have fun. And because that's what I believed in my head, it actually ended up working out. It was actually a kind of weak approach. It, we would you know in now that I look at back at, at the approach, it's kind of weak. But in, the, the important point is that I just kept pushing the interaction forward. I kept staying in this you know kind of uncomfortable situation because I thought it was okay. That doesn't matter what the situation actually was. Doesn't matter that I looked like a nerd and acted like a nerd. I thought it was being cool and we were having fun. And this perception made made it made me uh, like gave me a self fulfilling prophecy prophecy of good things happening. Yep. And that girl actually ended up falling in love with me. We were in this crazy relationship. Like it was cr like it was one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. I actually almost fucking married her. And you that you met her in person when we were living in Warsaw. Oh yeah yeah. The, the the girl yeah that came here yeah so so she was she was okay with me seeing other girls. Uh, I was I met him afterwards and you turned me into a fucking animal <laughs> and she was okay with me just just do, doing whatever the fuck I want with other girls so like if you just keep keep going have some belief in yourself and like just the, the, the way you see things is very important yeah. the way things actually are is not important it's only important how you fucking see them yeah yeah so okay so tying into that not only are guys doubting their self-worth but most guys are thinking that in the interaction, they need to be winning the girl over, that they need to be gaining points, or that they need to be not fucking up, or that they need to keep things going, in terms of the, keeping the conversation going. They're wondering, what should I say next? They're wondering if they should tell joke X, Y, or Z. They're putting a lot of emphasis and judgment on what they've already said previously and what the girl might think of that. And all this fucking computing going on up in your head is, you know, again setting you back and of course you're doing it through a negative lens like oh that maybe that joke wasn't that good maybe that i want you to do away with all those things and i could i could just spout off but that that covers a lot of the, the major kind of mindsets so i'm sure you guys can relate to this and positive you can because i've seen it time and time again in most of my clients instead from this day forward before you go in in your mind you think i've got this girl no problem right that doesn't mean you will get every girl that's not realistic but you have the mindset like you've already banged her before, like she's just a, a girl on your rotation or on your harem. If you had a girl out with you that you've already banged before, you're not going to be trying to impress her. You're not going to give a shit if she likes what you say. You're going to be being yourself. You're going to be expressing things freely. You're not going to be trying to keep the conversation going, okay? You're, you're not going to be judging all these things that happen. You don't really care. I mean, of course, you want her to think you know, good of you and, and highly of you. But it's not going to be all this pressure and all this stuff to like win her over. Like you've already, you've already got her. So when you come in with the mindset like I already got this girl, or when you walk into a nightclub, I tell students, and clients, think like someone in here is getting fucked tonight. I could fuck any one of these girls. It's not a big deal. And, and once you do start fucking a bunch of girls and you do have that quality again, it's reference point back at, and you're like, I do get girls like this all the time. It is, like, it was. It, it's kind of like a snowball effect, right? You you bring you got to bring that confidence to the table because if you're always bringing that fucking dilapidated car to the table, no one's ever gonna want to buy it. Okay, so you gotta present the Lamborghini, okay, and then you get girls because they they're like, wow, this dude's actually cool. And a lot of you are actually cool. You do have a lot of shit going for you. Write down your best attributes. Write down the coolest shit going on for yourself. That doesn't mean like be delusional and think like, okay, I don't have to put on deodorant. I don't need to get a decent haircut. I don't need to wear like decent clothes. Uh, or go to the gym ever because I'm the shit all the time and I can get any girl and I'm just gonna be a fucking fat slob piece of shit. That's not what I'm advocating <laughs> by any means, okay? What it means is do your due diligence to have proper hygiene, okay, to hit the gym, to you know, respect yourself, have, have goals in life, etc. Become that attractive man and then don't care about needing to win a girl over, like making her like you and any stuff like that. You need to present the mindset like, I can get girls like this anytime, it's not a big deal to me. And then when you're in, in, in the interaction, the goal becomes, let me figure out her logistical situation, okay? Let me figure out what her objections are for me bringing her home. Let me set the proper frames so that I'm getting her to meet up with me. Let me get a solid phone number by interjecting sexual verbals and physicality and establishing this relationship that's 
far beyond platonic, okay, even if it's a short period of time. Those are the things you should be doing in the interaction, and then the results just come pouring in, okay, because you're not coming from this scared, this all relates back to the fear again, what we've talked about in each of these videos. You're not coming from this scared place where you're like, uh, like, you're basically just asking to get rejected, right? Like, if you're in the interaction and then you're allowing her to rattle you or, or you're severely doubting yourself, like, you're coming across like this really low value, scared little boy, and of course that's not attractive. And of course, the girl is going to say like, ah, no thanks, man, or the, the friend will say, up, oh, I have, you know, this is my girlfriend, or up, oh, you know, we're not talking to guys tonight. And that's code word for, you're displaying low value to us, and right, rightfully so for them to give some excuse to walk away. They're not, they don't want to. They don't want a low value dude. They don't want. They're not attracted to that. Okay, I could go in and be, display low value behaviors. They're not going to want me either. Okay? It's all about how you present yourself. I tell even virgin clients, in, until you think that you're good enough for these girls, or until you think that this isn't a big deal, like once you get past that, like I'll tell the story again. I've told it in some other videos, but really quickly. I had a virgin client that said, oh, you have, I think this, I was at like 250 like count. At some, this is like 2013. He's like, he's like, girls respond well to you because you've been with hundreds of girls. They respond poorly to me because I have been with zero girls. And I was like, you don't have a post-it note on your forehead that says zero. Okay, and then, then you're like advertising it. Like, oh, I'm a virgin. I'm, I've been with zero girls. I don't have a post-it note on my head that says I've been with 250 or now over 1,000. If I roll in weak, the girls are going to reject me and, and they're not going to want to have anything to do with me. If you roll in like the man, and this, this dude got a make out and he took a girl home that night. And me and my old business partner were joking, this is the coolest virgin in the club. But it was that mental shift, he became the Lamborghini. And surprise, surprise, the girls responded to it. So work on yourself to the best of your abilities. Present your best self. And that doesn't mean every girl will like you or that you will get every girl. You still have to be realistic. You know, chicks not being interested is part of how this works. And that's what makes it fun. Like, maybe you're not her type. Maybe she really does have a boyfriend. Maybe she's in a shitty mood. Maybe, you know, any number of reasons that, that have nothing to do with you. Okay, so you put forward your best self. The chicks that like it come into your life. You have amazing sexual and other relations with them. And you have a fucking awesome life. And many times the guys think girls are rejecting them and it's sometimes it's a stupid reason like she didn't shave today And she doesn't feel comfortable around mm -hmm. guys. It's it's some the most stupidest reasons yeah. could stop an interaction and, and you would think it's a bad interaction. No, he's just not comfortable with herself it Maybe could be, it could be any number of things like like that's part of the game Like uh, I played a game where anytime a girl rejects me I don't even look at it as like a rejection because there's so many factors out of your control anytime a girl isn't interested in me or in one of my advanced friends if I'm out with an advanced friend we'll play a game sometimes where like the other one of us will go in nine times out of ten same shit happens okay and that shows there's a category of rules that just don't want to talk to you there's like three categories there's this is again a mystery analogy he says there's like red yellow and green apples the red are chicks that are just like very standoffish they tell you to fuck off they're just not interested it's not going to go anywhere. They have personal issues. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the, yeah. what the thing is. You just move on. Okay, nice to meet you. Move on. You don't need to say, fuck you, bitch, and all this shit like that, or get really upset and think you're a loser. Okay, that's just, there just exists a category of girls like that. Then there's a category of girls that are very receptive to you, that, that are beaming and their eyes light up when you talk to them, and, they, and they're very compliant, responsive, and receptive. Those are the ones you're looking for. Then you have that middle ground where they're like not sure if they like you enough yet, and they're kind of on the fence, and you can win them over by showing high value and by just having a fun interaction with them. So yeah, you're or looking. I have to, I have to like actually interrupt you. Like that yellow uh, category is where I was with the, that special girl I told you guys about. Like she was on the fence, and fear, but yeah, fear me could have driven you off so to many re times. rejection, so many times. And but sometimes it's just a matter of spending enough time next to her to make her comfortable around your presence just just keep pushing it i mean unless she asks you to leave like you have no reason to leave like it's for real like unless she's like can you please leave like then you respect her quite like she asked you like as a statement to leave then it's okay leave but like if she's not sure just just keep trying man it's fine um at the end of the day um we have another cool story from new york uh, which one we want to talk about actually being comfortable in your skin let's do it in the next video and um you guys make sure you subscribe to this badass and uh, even to me if you want to talk about finance but for now let's pick up let's subscribe to him like the video and see you next video okay thanks guys take care